so today was a really hard morning um, that just surprised me. I got up early as always and I was getting ready and things seemed to be going well except I couldn't find my lip liner and for those of you who wear makeup you know that you need lip liner to ha accomplish a certain look otherwise your lips look a little ashy. My lashes would not go on. I tried a million times and they just didn't work. It already takes me forever to put my lashes on anyway, like 20 minutes, no lie, because they're so curly. They wouldn't go on. I couldn't find the scissors to fix my shirt. And Robin was having a day. So I was under a lot of stress um, on this day of the pageant and I literally went to the lobby and cried <laughs> in Christina's um, neck as she gave me a hug of support just because I was so frustrated. Is it smoky or is it me? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And so knowing that I was about to go on camera and be recorded gave me a lot of anxiety because I didn't feel my best. And this is a competition and feeling your best has a lot to do with your confidence. So mine was pretty low on this day, but I try to make the most of it because they took us to this beautiful arboretum that you're seeing right now. And so that did lift my spirits a bit. I love being outside. The kids were having fun. It was perfect weather because of course it's California and it's not like Texas heat that fries you and fricassees you to oblivion. <laughs> so we really enjoyed just being out here. Um, there were baby animals around, like there's some ducks in this little lake. There was flowers blooming in the trees. The trees were huge, like ginormous. I know you're watching this on video and it, and it seems like just a normal nature area, but when I tell you stuff was huge, it was huge. Um, the flowers smelled good, they were pretty. The kids were just kind of like poking around and getting their energy out. Robin was feeling a little bit better which helped me feel a little bit better. But I just tried to make the most of it, you know, and took a couple pictures. So, um, Danio was really good with comforting me and, you know, just saying, hey babe, it's gonna be okay. This is not a part of the scored portion, so you're, you're okay, like he reminded me that. So I just tried to put my best foot forward and move on and just enjoy these beautiful, beautiful plants and <laughs> random animals that we ran across. Hunter kept like giving us, that <laughs> little boy in red, he kept giving us like <laughs> shock moments cause we were like, please don't fall in the water. Please don't fall off this rock. Please don't run into this tree. Like he had a couple moments, but he survived. <laughs> and so did we. The kids were playing red light, green light. Um, see this huge tree? See that giant palm? That's not like a normal size. It's gonna scan down and you're gonna see how huge this mug is. I've never seen a palm tree this big in my life. Wait for it. Bam. This tree's trunk is thicker than like four of me standing in a huddle. And it was definitely giving me like Alice in Wonderland vibes this little path especially with the little greenery archway I loved it I feel like in my home I'm going to create something like this but more flowers on each end so it can feel like super super romantic so after the arboretum we went to downtown Disney and we just got to shop and explore and relax because our schedules were so jam-packed so today was all about chilling and bonding with each other so that's what I did okay. <laughs> okay so we're at downtown Disney see my cute little mini ears and we've been walking around we had a very uh, productive and leisurely day we started off at the Arboretum where we did our introduction video uh, shoot 
and I messed up on the first time. I forgot what state I was representing. I literally said my name and I just couldn't remember what else to say. Janae? Alright. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Okay. Kansas. Cece. Sorry, we're going to the pool. I forgot my state the first time. How embarrassing is that? <laughs> <laughs> it was better to do it here though. Okay. Hey, it's funny. You know, when they did the test run, I'm like, okay, go. I was like, sorry. I was like, why are you nervous? It's a test. And the camera's like, yeah. And you're like, I was really impressed by how the other contestants were able to put so much energy behind their voice on the first take. Like, my voice sounded really low key and toned down, but thankfully we did it three times. And by the third time. I sounded as energetic as they did, but I was impressed. So they were like immediately ready for that camera when it showed up. So of all the practicing that I've done, I have not I have not considered tone, uh, you know, in like lighting up your face and all that stuff. So I'm very glad that we did that way before Sunday because that's where it's gonna have to sign. And tomorrow's our interview. So I'm going to bring as much of myself, as much of my personality to it as I can um, so that I, you know, I am projecting happiness and confidence and, uh, you know, just good vibes. So I'm really glad we did that. But now we're at downtown. We're getting ready to go back home. It's okay. You can't see them. It's okay. Uh, we're returning the stroller. Well, actually, Daniel and them are returning the stroller. And then... We're gonna walk back to the bus. I think we're gonna take the girls swimming because they have a lot of energy and they're bouncing off the walls. So we're gonna do that and I'm gonna prepare for tomorrow. I'm gonna get all my attire ready for tomorrow, which is not much because we're gonna be rehearsing. And I am gonna get all my retire, attire ready for Sunday well in advance. So Sunday, all I have to do is wake up, get my makeup done, which I'm so excited to meet my makeup artist that Gabe connected me with and get ready to have a wonderful, wonderful show. You are by the ocean. It is Friday night and we decided to be spontaneous and go to the beach. We're at the beach. Ah! <laughs> it's a little colder than we thought, but we don't even care right now. 
Oh, Look at that. Because you know why? Because we were in the right, right, right. right. You so right. She said, put it on me, Daddy. Put it on me. How that feel right? We're gonna enjoy this last couple hours of sunlight. We're gonna watch the sunset over the over those hills back there. And we're gonna take our minds off of everything that it's been on. We're gonna relax, we're gonna recharge. We show up tomorrow, they're gonna be like, why are y'all glowing? <laughs> okay. Damn. I told you that was okay. Okay. <laughs> We're going to try to find a jacket and a blanket. Yeah. Gonna put a, huh? I hope there's no crabs Oh, y'all watch this. Oh, that's nice. I told you. I hope there's no crabs But we're going to have a great time. There's little nat sand nets down here. Bobby Roo. Want your bucket? Come on, Dad, get in the water. Oh. Not to me, I got used to it. <laughs> Give me a hug. Go for it, Rob. <laughs> 